right now, we are going to be joined by a lovely lady. She is Alex, and uh, Alex Virgil was our winner. Uh, she won uh, week three of the Pigskin Pick'em competition. Alex, are you there? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, congratulations. You got 15 of 16 games. You were the only one that did that. Wow, thank you. Well done. <laughs> Um, now, uh, do you have a favorite team, Alex? I do. I'm a Packer fan. Packer ah, fan. like my hubby. Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. <laughs> oh, she's used yeah. the word hubby. <laughs> All right. Well, now, the way this works, you've won yourself the beautiful Big Green Egg Mini Max. Also, you have yeah. won, won the opportunity to um, pick some games with Chick McGee, but this is a little trickier because the spread gets involved. I'll hand over the mic to Chick. What do you say? Well, it's time now for the shoe of the week. The often imitated, never duplicated. First, original sports prognostication. Everything you see on television, you read online, pale imitations. That's what right. we're doing here on the Bob and Tom Show way back in the 30s when we came up with the point <laughs> spread in suburban Chicago. It was me, Al Capone. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Fist and uh, <laughs> Jimmy Fist was a bad man. He sounds like it. And <laughs> he could put his fist in his mouth. Oh, you know, oh, very clear. No, that was his wife. Okay, <laughs> Alex, here we go. Uh, the Taylor Swift Bowl this week travels to <laughs> the Meadowlands. The uh, New York Jets hosting the Kansas City Chiefs. The Jets, a home dog, barking loud. <laughs> the Jets get nine in the hook. Call that nine and a half points. Oh. Uh, Kansas City minus the nine and a half or the Jets plus nine and a half. Alex, who do you like? I think I'm going to do the Chiefs. The Chiefs minus nine and a half. She's exactly right. I'll agree with that, Tom. And oh, that's cool. my double shock for oh. the week. Times two. <laughs> so do that. And then tonight, your Green Bay Packers host the Detroit Lions, who, if memory serves, kicked the Packers out of the playoffs last year, the last game of the season. We all remember that. Yeah. With uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, good riddance to him, I'm guessing. Anyway, um, <laughs> the Detroit, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, the Green Bay Packers, a home underdog at Lambeau. They're getting two against Detroit. Who do you like, Green Bay or Detroit? I have to go Packers. I can't not go Packers. Okay. <laughs> I've often said that, both <laughs> privately and <laughs> privately and publicly. Uh, uh, there are those times. You live how you need to. That's right. Uh, and anything is everything. <laughs> I'll take, uh, yeah, give me Green Bay plus the two, Tom. Okay, and then a couple of uh, different games that jumped out to me. The Cleveland Browns hosting the, uh, these are the new Browns hosting the old Browns. Cleveland Browns hosting the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Ravens getting three. Who do you like, Browns or uh, Baltimore? I like the Browns. I like the Browns as well. Wow. Alex, Cleveland minus <laughs> three. And then uh, the Chicago Bears hosting the Denver Broncos. Hmm. Now, if you remember, last week, Denver was beaten by 50 points. Unbelievable. Um, yes. <laughs> the Miami Dolphins. And uh, Chicago, home underdog. They're barking loud again. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago getting three. Who do you like, Chicago or Denver? I am going with the Bears. Oh, we were doing so well. I'll take Denver to cover <laughs> minus the three. If Sean Payton has to suit up and go out there himself to win this game, he will. All look, right. look for that late in the fourth quarter. Okay. And that's this week's well, shoe in. Thanks, Alex. Uh, Alex, yeah, congratulations. You. Are you a really avid football fan, or was this dumb luck? Um, I, maybe both. I don't know. Um, I'd like to try to think that I try to pay attention to what's happening, um, yeah. but it might be dumb luck. Well, I mean, fifth, you got 15 of 16. That's pretty good. Did you, not, yeah, did, yeah. You, did you enter the week before? Yes, yes, I did. I did not do good last week. I think I got eight. Ah. <laughs> ah okay, well, um, we'll keep trying. Uh, congratulations. Uh, you, she you, won. You, yeah, she, she's a winner. She <laughs> she's a champ. Yeah. He wanted to end it on an up note, and he was no. filing through his brain. I, I, I just well, want to see go, well, go get him, Alex. Go. Don't give up, toots. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Brodsky. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> being, uh, you, obviously, you don't know. Never would have asked a man who won if it was oh. dumb luck. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> sure I would have. And, hey, you got that pie done for me yet? You're supposed to be yeah. making? Is that, how's that coming? Okay. Um, <laughs> so you have two guys' names, Alex and Virgil. Yeah. You don't hear the name Virgil much anymore. You don't. As a first name, you, you don't. don't. Yeah. 
It's a good name. It is a good name. Yeah, it's, what if it's too close to Virgin? I wonder if that's a problem. Uh, Has it ever been a problem for you, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly not, surprisingly. Right, well, I would have thought that would have been a go-to. Well, like, to, keep, to keep with our theme, do you shower with your team? <laughs> <laughs> if you ever, had a, if you ever had, a, uh, had a son, would you give Virgil, Virgil a day in court? Would you think take a look at that name, Virgil, Virgil? No? <laughs> I, I, I kind of like that. Yeah. I could do that. Virgil, Virgil? It might need a, a middle initial. How about V? Virgil V. Virgil. <laughs> Virgil V. Virgil. That sounds like a court case. He'd be famous. <laughs> Have you talked to Triple V? Oh. <laughs> well, um, Miss, he knows what he's doing. Uh, Ms. Ms. Virgil, you have won yourself the Big Green Egg Mini Max because of your skill and uh, your great picks this beep, week. Beep, Very beep, good. Beep, I, was only, I was always <laughs> suggesting you keep at it just to see if you can consistently That's do right. this well. That's uh -huh. right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Okay. Thank you. Maybe oh, you can well, find something you can do, right? You're very welcome. <laughs> and are, are, we, are we keeping you away from a job or something right now? I hope not. No, not necessarily. I'm okay. on break. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. Good to know. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks very much. We certainly appreciate it, Alex. Uh, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sure you're a secretary of oh. some sort. Or perhaps some sort of... Go, Tom, your... will you knock it off with those Gosh. questions? Your boss coffee. <laughs> Sorry. I, she's <laughs> s s stepping on the uh, oxygen supply of some uh, very, very Careful. serious patients. I hope she's a cop and she's on her way over. <laughs> are you an Alexandra or are you, really a, are you just an Alex? I'm Alexandria. Oh, it's lovely. Alexandria. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Does anybody call you that? Uh, no. No, they don't until I correct them if they do. <laughs> oh, you, you prefer just like Alex. Alex? I see. I prefer Alex. Okay, well, good. Well, you did a nice job. It's just too long. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, Alex. Thank you very much. Okay, enjoy, well done. enjoy your grill. Okay, now, uh, we've got to move forward here. <laughs> Yeah, so nobody you, interviews like you, Tommy. Don't you hate it when things get bogged down like that? Yeah. <laughs>